Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to discuss Valhalla because I'm an Assassin's Creed freaking fangirl. I've got my mug. I've got other some minor collector items, not a crap ton. But I just I, I really have enjoyed the franchise, even though I don't entirely agree with the direction that it's gone down. So I am I'm hoping Valhalla is good and can kind of redeem itself. Obviously, if you're an AC fan, I kind of hope that every single year <laughs> and that hasn't entirely been the case. So hopefully it goes well. I'm excited, very, very excited. And so I wanted to share my thoughts on the gameplay trailer because I didn't get to watch all of it on stream. I got had to brush over it super quickly and just really, really skip around, not enjoy all the detail and everything because um, I had to go rush and play some Todd games that I had planned with buds. But Valhalla, I'm excited also disappointed at a couple things that I've seen and yeah quickly to gloss over I don't I'm concerned my biggest concern right now is optimization for the game considering how awful the past two have been so we'll see it looks like it's on the same engine uh, I had a lot of people before I had seen the trailer praising that oh the new game's graphics look phenomenal and the bit that I've seen looks it looks good it looks like the last assassin's creed game looked good but it doesn't look anywhere near as fantastic as current 2020 games in my opinion what most are coming out looking like and it looks the same again as the game that came out about two years ago now so i thought was kind of caught off guard with how much people were praising by how good the graphics looked that i was expecting a completely different engine look it looks the same so that was one thing i was kind of caught off guard by uh the little bit with the trailer that i had previewed and the uh the little bit that i had seen on stream but i'm gonna go ahead and react to the video and kind of share my thoughts as i go if you guys want to you know leave comments uh down below on your thoughts of the game if you're excited things you want to see changed if you've already watched the trailer or if you're watching it with me you know i'm sure i'll have questions for you guys um as we go as well so yes if you're curious about when i started playing assassin's creed games or what my favorite is because that's something i get asked all the time on stream when assassin's creed gets brought up so i'm just gonna go ahead and nip that one in the butt in case you guys are curious uh, about it i started playing when i got my xbox 360 one of the games that i got with it was assassin's creed 2. i love Ezio. Ezio is bay he is phenomenal that my favorite story game period single player game is the uh, the Ezio trilogy i liked all three i thought his story arc was fantastic i'm very sad that that dev left with Ezio because <laughs> it was so good i know not everybody liked him um but I, that's my favorite i loved um ac2 i loved brotherhood i loved revelations there's so many things that i could ramble on about that that could be its own video if you want me to do a video ranting about assassin's creed i could do that um i don't feel necessarily the need to but if you guys are curious i could totally do something like that um spitball shit off but uh yeah i, I loved Ezio. it's been hard for me to see the franchise and what it's kind of turned into and i could do and i'll explain that a little bit throughout the video i'm sure um i think that you know, I'm kind of disappointed with the direction that it's gone, but Odyssey was still a fantastic game, but it didn't feel like it should have had the AC IP attached to it. And I, I'm curious if I'm going to feel the same way with Valhalla or not. So, and I will link the full official 30 minute gameplay walkthrough trailer of the dev notes here for you guys down below uh, that Ubisoft did put up on the day that they, they announced everything that was at July 12th. So I'm obviously a little late, 12 days, about 12 days late, and it's July 23rd right now. Trying to pull an all-nighter and get this out there because I wanted to get a YouTube dedicated video out uh, this week. I'm getting my dog Monday, so next week's going to be like really messy with streaming YouTube for me. But it means puppy IRL videos are going to be coming to the channel. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys that. And those of you who are looking forward to it and, and know everything that's going on. So yeah, this is the exactly one of the little bit yeah, portions so here, that I had watched on stream. So I've seen a little bit of the beginning and know kind of showing, things uh, I'll bring up to you guys, but I'll rewatch it for sake here of we're looking stream at the or stream, of Bird Castle, sake of YouTube. Um, so Vader's and Ferds into Bird Castle to go and take down Ruid uh, and his clan. So, so who this right here before they get into too much. Um, again, this is one of the one of the things that I knew I wanted to um, to bring up here. So in Odyssey, they started to incorporate the war system and Odyssey. It was that you just you went to a, you talked to a guy and you queued up and it was essentially the Greeks versus the Spartans. Right. 
and, and you'd fight and you'd have to have one big guy or quite a few big guys that you'd focus on. I already like that Valhalla looks like the, it's more immersive and not as much of a, of a side cue in thing and kind of like, oh, okay, you hunt these guys down, you kill these guys and you're fighting in a circle jerk. I like that this seems that you go in and you're raiding it and you're actually, you know, going pushing with your group. Um, and also, obviously, the war fighting thing, but it, it feels more linear and immersive than you're going and you're queuing off. So I, I that was I didn't think it was awful in Odyssey. I, I definitely they cleaned it up. Also, the dual wielding axes comes into play. Bucket mint, dude. I'm so excited. Where at the beginning of the arc, this is something that that happens before. Red basically the combat looks within the territory. Pretty clean. And Oswald, who's from the, the little bit that I've seen. Elderman to be to I'm so curious please, how far into talking, the game this game plays. Of, of Valhalla. Can you tell us a little bit about the changes to combat this time around? We wanted to uh, see that looks so fucking good, dude. A lot of new mechanics. This day and age, so it sort of fits into that uh, the time uh, and the character. The UI looks a lot better in here as well. Oswald, he lives. Okay. Oh, God, super minor complaint here. Ah, I know there's a lot of you that are going to be like really nitpicky, but this is like my immersion, just again, thoughts kind of thing here. And this is what popped up. It's raining and nobody looks wet. <laughs> and I cannot unsee it now. I, I saw this like the, again, I watched like the first like five minutes maybe would have been about the first time and I didn't see it the first time around. And now I can't get it. Oswald lives! Eivor, is that you? Another ass, nitpicky fine. thing is the Here, has taken lip sync her looks really bad from what I've seen. It's revealed that our, our elderman, our ally, Oswald, yeah, is still alive awful. and Ruid has him captive. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon whore, son? If this swine is your prize, come and get him. Yeah, so that's... Work in progress, maybe it'll get fixed. I don't know if you can fix that throughout the whole game with the bit that they've shown. So now that we're at, maybe one one day with an Assassin's Creed game we'll get good look <laughs> Now it's time to go one on one against Ruid on either Ruid or See how clean the new UI looks. More strategically if that's and the placement place just no. So we're not only fighting Ruid here, but also Chef's his kiss. pet wolf, right? <laughs> That fucking kick. Well, in this case, prefers for Ruid to be kept alive, and so you basically have to. You guys let Ruid live or die. Or stay true to your nature. Like I know I'm gonna go so we have this hard to make, Viking. But before we get into that, I want to rewind. At least I plan to. Maybe I'll change my mind. Big grand assault. Oh my god, die! Have done it. I just nostalgia just trickled in. Do you guys remember those of you who have been long time AC fans when it? when we got to ride actual horses in game and not just between back and forth for fast travel for cutscenes. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so exciting. I remember freaking out over that. Avor can go into pretty much You used to only have horses in between cities. Like you it used to not be over like huge open world. It would be like you'd have horses that you'd have to like you'd fast travel between like Florence and Rome and You'd have a storyline connected to Yeah, oh my god. It was so exciting. Yeah, so you'd have to run everywhere else previously. <laughs> Any location and be uh have to check the horses at Viking, the gate. Eliminating senior by um township, basically <laughs> taking it back for the people and showing that there's there's a reason. So this to is like the fort stuff. And get them on your side. The fort takeovers. I love it. When Avor does this, I'm... Fizz, we just saw this giant pulse go out. What exactly was that? So that is actually is what we call the Odin site. The Odin site is basically our yeah. interpretation of interactive objects, like things that will bring <laughs> an advantage. So we'll have arrows, um, like health consumables that are in there. So we have fewer weapons in the game, but you can invest in them more. So they become your weapon. And so depending what your preferred play style is or your preferred weapon type then you can go and choose i'm gonna i'm gonna fight with this weapon and invest heavily into that not only i'm gonna piss a lot of people off with this comment um 
that is the one thing, even though there's been a shit ton of disappointing things with the AC franchise. My God, I like that there's combat variety now compared to what it used to be. You, I felt like a lot of the time you would just mash X. I mean, you still kind of spam with your weapons and whatnot, but I like that there's more variety in, in play style to it compared to how there used to be. I think that was a pretty damn good improvement on the game. Why are we looting weapons, but we see something here called the Book of Knowledge. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? They unlock skills for the players. So here you can see the Valkyrie dive that has just been unlocked. We have these spread out throughout the world. So again, to promote exploration and discovery, as you travel through the world and you explore locations, you can find these books that will add abilities that you can go and invest in, put into your loadout, then go into the different locations with the different uh, quests in the game and use those depending on what your playstyle is. So they got rid of their... This is a really middle ground compared to what it used to be in the pressed... Um... Well, I guess since Unity, really. So how Assassin's Creed used to be, if you're if you're new to the franchise, it used to be as you went throughout the story, you progressed through, you just naturally got handed new abilities and they or new items and tools. You used to not have all these like weapon sets and stuff. So with how it changed once you got to around more so Syndicate, which was something I really didn't like. I, I don't like the I call it a multiplayer leveling system in a single player game. You know, it's not entirely that just the fact that you go around and you would do a lot of repetitive things that didn't correlate to the main story just to level up your character to be able to go and unlock new abilities um i wasn't a fan of that that was part of the reason i stopped playing syndicate because it wasn't quite it got more polished as it went on even though i wasn't necessarily personally a fan of it um but uh i mean this is cool it looks like there, there's going to be quite a bit. So this is going to incentivize more exploring. I wonder if there's going to be like leads to it or this almost makes me think that you're going to have to be a completionist if you're going to have to be a completionist if you want options for play style. Hmm. That's, I think that's good. I think overall it'll be good, but I, I think that's the only like kind of downside I could see with that. But maybe they're at main spots where it's going to be obvious. I don't really know. I miss being having puzzles and going and doing and unlocking shit kind of that way in terms of lore. So I don't know. Since they're doing that, I wonder if they're going to have more like puzzles tying into the Assassin's Creed lore again. I miss that shit too. Hmm. I think that's a, I think that's a fine middle ground. Now we've recaptured. Actually, I think that's an improvement. Secured more troops overall. Way more pros than cons. Let's jump back to now me. And Kill him. Eivor decided to let him live. Ruid is really angry about that. Whoa. Being a Norse Viking or hostile towards her. And um, the interactions of the characters look so awkward, man. You want to have make sure that your neighbor is friendly. Again, it's work. Um, so it's work in progress. Maybe it won't be that bad. Oswald is the man for the job. <laughs> putting. I tell you what, freaking Viking so women in tattoos look so sick. See, the game looks nice, but I don't think it looks dressed. I don't think it looks any different than Odyssey. Like every the way everybody was talking about it um, online, because I was late to see the trailer and everything, and even then I didn't get to watch the majority of it aside from like the first five minutes and like then skipping a little bit around um, and not actually being able to listen to anything. Um, what I like everybody made it out to seem that the graphics are infinitely better. They don't look any better than Odyssey. May, maybe it'll be more optimized. That's my hope. But and I don't think it's a bad thing. But every I, it just I don't think it looks like a 2020 game. That sounds great. <laughs> so we see as long as it's fun and story is good. That's all I really care about personally. And you best believe if you let me talk <laughs> to a cat, I'm gonna talk to. Yeah, a cat. I don't think it looks drastically yeah, these, different these at all from some Odyssey. Of our, um, ultimately, get that cat to sort of join your crew uh as a cat raider you just said cat raider way too casually you're telling me i could have a cat viking raider on my long ship that's that's exactly what i'm telling you bro oh what God. yes <laughs> i love it perfect dude it's, it's like all fucking so yeah, curled as, up as you're riding around the 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 rivers of england you would see a cat basically walking around your long ship keeping what? your viking raiders company that was an actual thing you, know, speaking of, we all have you gotta wonder Vikings how much and so filming this, this, this that awesome the devs and the stranger heart and everything hole, ran into the so fucking sides i did that all the time in odyssey when you had like freaking cinematic mode or even in gta uh, viking raiders actually queue up stories and they'll give you a little bit more background who they are so you get to know your your sort of fighters as you're traveling around the world which is a cool um moment huh okay 
So here, I, I don't really a care a bit about of a that. Different but view. what exactly okay. are we looking at? We had this on, on previous assassins where you would like ride on F's on your horse and you could pull out, have the road, the the horse sort of follow the track. We have a similar thing for the ship where you can put up your sails. It's cruise control for the ship, so you can pull back, take in the scenery, listen to some songs or some stories, That's... and just take it. That all would in. eliminate running into ship. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> Basically, a precursor to rap battles. What? Huh. Here's the silver. Now begin. Then you're speaking to fools, and their knowledge is flawed. Well. So it looks exactly like you just look for a rhyming word at the end. In one of these. The, the and if you can't choose good that, then you was to choose the right insult. Um, no, it's not bad. Find the right cadence, and then trying to find. Silent Typical game riddle mechanic. More or less. Flooding is not spelled how I thought it was going to be. So now that we've proven our sharp tongue and wit, uh, I think it's time for a bit more relaxing activity. So we're, we're fishing here. Yeah, that's it. Um, so we gave Eivor a fishing line so you can actually throw out a line and, and go catch some fish. Um, this is used basically to, uh, uh, to play into our new health loop where the player will lose health in, in the world and it doesn't automatically generate regenerate like we would have in the past so you actually have to go out and get some some supplies so you'll find mushrooms uh and some food that you can gather but here like we you, you can ca also catch some fish and consume that to regain some health if we also so will sometimes have it in in certain quests so it's a good way to sort of chill out on the side of the uh, of the water and just again take it all in i'm not mad about that I'm not mad about that. I think I'm okay. So this is off. So it was just a way for us to sort of showcase that, like those Our tracks are kind of hard to see. The world can sort of play in with some. Just some in terms of the color that they chose, so it's but our way to sort of dress up these moments and probably make eagle it all vision fit inside the the whole experience. Yeah, this seemed like a really sort of glow. unexpected turn for what I thought was going to be kind of a simple interaction. Yeah, and okay, it's that's, really what we were trying to do with these events. That's a to, um, to give another dimension bit of a brighter gold than I was than expecting. Just, you know, the pure I don't do it. Or Viking or the Jesus. politician. Because you can imagine at some point that... Well, the rabbits look like a Patronus. That, that, that oh, version how much of the character. So it, it, it lets us really... You know, I'm really... I'm really curious. Um, so, if you don't know... Um, there's been a lot of scandals with Ubisoft being caught. Uh, there's like six higher ups and CEOs and stuff or some some crap. I haven't been I, I've been vaguely keeping up with it because there's just so much toxicity online that I don't care to dive into every little negative thing that's going on online. Um, and uh, that uh, there's like six higher ups or something that I've left because they've caught with being sexist and sexual harassment and a bunch of other crap going on, right? And it was leaked that they denied the they wanted cassandra to be the main character for odyssey but they forced another guy to put it in because they didn't think they could market it even though there's a bunch of games with women leads a good chunk of handfuls um which i think it's fine to have variety in there like whatever but i thought that was like kind of an odd reasoning behind it um and uh anyways they're talking about focusing on her so i'm curious if they got denied that also for uh, Valhalla and that's why they're doing the duo gender option again I'm not really sure um but there's a lot of the comments I was seeing was that the gameplay between Cassandra and Alexios for Odyssey was drastically different I didn't play both I only played through Cassandra's and I again there were so many freaking optimization problems I didn't care to go after or play any of the DLCs so I got my 100 hours of taking my time and and messing with the world and with that um so I'm curious if she's like the intended main character and if that was the case. I mean, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts if you played Odyssey, um, if it was if you played both perspectives and if it was drastically different. Because I'm curious if it's going to be for her because, one, that they obviously choosing her for the trailer and and whatnot and focusing on it. But they haven't mentioned the, the male counterpart like at all really in here. I think they have the same name though, don't they? Ah, oh, frick, I can't remember. Um, I'd have to go back and, and double check. <clears throat> later on i'm not too concerned about it. it's not really like the main focus here um but I'm, I'm curious if that if that's the case if it's gonna be drastically different stories but i, I would like to to hear your guys' thoughts on if you whose story you liked better and if it really was that different or not or what exactly it is but yeah makes me wonder makes me wonder <clears throat> here large walker 
a necklace. Yes, it's a Saint Martin seal. I tell you what, she looks You're freaking sick, dude. I I miss Walker. braiding You're my hair. That's the only thing I miss about having long hair is braiding it. I will take care now, small green walkers. <clears throat> I haven't had long hair in so like. So I think AC veterans might recognize this here. Oh but, uh, shit! What exactly is Avor chasing down? Yeah, so here you're seeing Avor um, running down one of our tattoo uh, images. So this is Bruh. challenging the player on free run abilities. So but also for fans of the series, sort of pull. Previous uh, older Assassin's Creeds, uh, there was feathers and papers that you would collect. Um, and they tied in lore or unlocked stuff. Uh, you'd collect X amount and unlock things, or, or they would be tied to just achievements. So I'm curious, is that like a teaser that that's going to be more tied into lore orienting and shit? It said a tattoo paper. Pulling out their heartstrings. So like, I wonder if you unlock the tattoos and there's hidden Creed lore with the tattoos, maybe? I... I that's tied into the Viking the shit <laughs> lore too, like intertwined, because that's so what they did with like Rome, like the Roman gods and everything that they would intertwine, intertwine um, lore and stuff in with that. Tattoo Avor? Yes. By collecting these tattoos, you actually bring them to, back to your settlement, and then you can customize different body parts, having different tattoos everywhere. So again, another form of expression. That's it. Sort of to represent that vul that Viking culture. Okay, Fizz, that's one of my favorite things when kind I was just out of there a missed opportunity. Was coming upon a house or a building and realizing that there was a chest inside, but that there was no easy way. I think that's in. a missed and opportunity case, for lore. I saw all the. Doors I, I, that's cool customizability, but I, because there was a chest in there, there must. I think have been that's some a missed opportunity. Inside, uh, so I went around the back. That's neat. And you know, found a way in. Yeah, I'm glad you different versions. So of the I story. skipped a little bit when I was skipping around. This is one of the little bits that I had seen. It was a bit of the fight, not much of it though. A poor victim of someone's fury. <laughs> yeah, I mean, speaking about exploration and just finding things out in the world, I was just wandering and so came that this clearing and found this. The blood dripping from the altar. nose looks. Yeah, looks so really, this is this is one of our really fucking weird fake. We, we have um, scattered in the world. Even if so it is poison, looks really cheesy. Um, she can find um, altars like this. Minor complaint. Just, that's it. Well, that picky. With them here, magical abilities, if we will. And, and basically have this awesome boss fight in the middle of the swamps. That's a bit of lag. And so here the abilities that you see uh, Reagan using like are a little bit on the mystical side of things. What's happening is Eivor at the beginning of that trap is poison. And so she starts sort of hallucinating, seeing the world. Okay, I haven't seen all of this. Uh, light and filter. Um, and so that that's sort of what lets us go into this, this the, the realm of the weird. See what this is where I talk about the lip tracking gets like really why are we gonna zoom in and want to really be focused on the faces talking here if it's gonna look so disgusting for mouth tracking again Nick picky like but why why would you make that like really the focal point then people comparing structures I can see cool myself raging at this if I do it and you decide to get at but it sort I, of stays there and so that's yours kind of right boring. until the moment where you come back and you want to build a new one it's, it's sort of cool that we were able to to give that to players to express themselves at this point in the demo we <laughs> explored you know, the joyous side of it as well oh that's yeah, a cool dress something we really wanted an to, outfit to that's badass play on in, in and Valhalla elegant where being a viking is not yep that that's the decision you it's really made. rude uh, kind of looks back. like um so, the priest uh, as we said before, all in your Far Cry 5. This is Not, but at the same time, just, yeah, in the Nordic version. <laughs> I challenge you. Thanks. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. Fizz, thank you so much for joining us. When and where can people play it? Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be out on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 and is coming to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and Stadia on November 17th. See, it's kind of common sense that it's going to be on the newer consoles, right? Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 17th. It's, it's common sense that it's going to be on the newer consoles, but it makes me wonder when the frick the new consoles are going to come out, right? Hmm. Okay, so... I mean, I told you the... The trailer looks... It looks good. It, it really doesn't... It doesn't look bad. I... 
they talked about the AC lore being more involved and they teased the bits of Odin in the trailer. So it really makes me wonder, you know, I thought they were going to cover more of that. Which makes me concerned, uh, but maybe, I, you know, I'm going to try and stay optimistic about it. Maybe they'll get it right. I think it's neat that they're incorporating more older elements. It's more exploratory. Some people, I didn't hear them mention anything about there not being side quests, but people were saying that there's not going to be any side quests um, like there were for Odyssey. Like there were a bunch of side quests in Odyssey. So maybe it's going to be way more main story focused and there's going to be a lot more to do like you used to be able to in puzzles with older Assassin's Creed games, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. We'll see. I didn't think Odyssey was a bad game aside from the optimization, but it just, it felt like they slapped the AC title on it, and I really hope, like, it's easier to sell and everything, right? So I just really hope Valhalla, that's not the case, and it feels like it's, you know, a beast. Uh, it feels like it's connected to the Assassin's Creed lore somehow. I feel like there's some missed opportunities with little things that they could have tied more lore into. But again, we won't really know until the game's fully out. That's just, again, kind of my concerns. Game doesn't look as good or as new as a lot of people made it out to seem um, on social media prior to seeing this, all of this. But, um, you know, maybe it, it, it doesn't look bad. My biggest, you know, again, the biggest concern that I've really got is just that I... <laughs> am kind of concerned with the optimization of what the game is going to be so we'll see how that goes but yeah i personally i don't recommend buying this the freaking ip on pc as someone who's tried it on pc the past two times it's been dog shit ubisoft just doesn't care about optimizing it on pc maybe there's a slight chance they won't do it, but they didn't do it worth for Origins, and you can look up forums more information on it. Uh, it didn't matter what settings that you did. There were crashing, constant crashing problems, um, it not optimizing your game despite settings changes. Um, nothing you can overwrite it um, in the code. Nothing like Literally nothing you can do fucking do with it. Odyssey, I had crashed over 100 times out and over 100 hours of gameplay on it. It was freaking ridiculous. I had to reduce so much shit. But the story was, like, I, I enjoyed it a lot, so I wanted to continue through with it. Um, and I really like that time period. So, you know, I... I been more could have been done with it right um but i still i still thoroughly enjoyed it but the the optimization was so bad the crashing was so bad and it happened over about half of the player base even if you weren't on pc there's a crashing problem for the first week or two and there was a fix on reddit that it was like why the hell was it taking so long for the devs to put out an update to fix it for that and maybe it was only temporary i don't really know um, i get nervous about you know doing that much reworking myself i shouldn't that's the freaking game devs job or the ip's job publisher and dev's job to have it finished when it comes out uh so we'll see um i would recommend if you're gonna buy the game don't get it for pc get it for console that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna capture card it and whatnot i might buy it and like tweet out it on pc and like if it's see how bad it is and whatnot but i'm not gonna be surprised ubisoft again it's ubisoft they just don't really give a fuck about optimizing their games on pc like it is what it is. It sucks. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be playing this probably on Xbox would be my bet. And then I'm just going to capture card it and just, just to avoid more problems. Because again, I it's been off on PC the past couple times. So I'll do that. Um, I will put out a, a review when I'm done like I did. My other blunt reviews, like super straight to the point, like maybe 10 minute video um, over my thoughts on it and everything so feel free to come back and check for that i will play it when it comes out when it releases i'll be streaming it on twitch if you don't know i stream on there very regularly i'm a variety caster so i just kind of play whatever sounds fun um and and i do want to do some other videos i want to do a uh, discuss ashes of creation because i'm an mmo junkie i love them it's like my favorite game genre is mmorpgs uh so i'll probably play that when that comes out and also review it fingers crossed we don't know when it's coming out yet but i would like to do a video kind of discussing that sitting down talk on shop on that as well um if there's other games you guys are interested in that you guys want either my reaction to like i know there's the far cry 6 trailer i haven't checked that out yet i've been really busy um with getting the, the new dog and everything finalized um coming through which by the way uh more dedicated youtube irl content will be coming since i the puppy i'm picking that up on monday fucking cannot wait dude i'm so excited i'm getting a little rottweiler and it'll be she'll be great and she'll be on streams once in a while um uh, but i don't I, i'm a lot of everyone wants a dog cam i don't know if i entirely want to do it but i'll see uh, so more puppy videos and things like that uh will be in the future um so keep an eye out on that i probably won't have it out next week when i get her i want her to get adapted and, and focus on training uh starting training and, and everything a little bit and she'll be uh, about 12 weeks um, when I'm picking her up. 
um, and all of that jazz. So those will be stuff to look forward to. But yeah, if there's other games that you guys want me to review on here or react to and kind of discuss like I have today, feel free to let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Are you excited for Valhalla or are you not looking forward to it? What are, you, what are your thoughts? Um, if you have seen the trailer and whatnot already or, you know, my thoughts even too. If you agree or disagree with any points that I've made, I'd love to hear it. Um, feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video if you liked it or if you want to see more stuff like this. I appreciate you guys for watching and I hope you're doing fantastic and staying safe and healthy out there, you stinky wild animals. I'll see you on the flip side, guys. Bye.